Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang solving quadratic equations by factoring. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so pag sinabi natin solving quadratic equations, hahanapin natin yung value of x that will satisfy the equation. Particularly, yung highest degree ng equation natin or yung exponent ng variable natin, let's say x ay 2. Okay, tapos pa para masolve natin yung quadratic equations, gagamitin natin yung natutunan natin all about factoring. Okay, so ngayon, check natin kung ano ba yung general form ng quadratic equations. Okay, so ito yung general form of quadratic equation. So sabi ko nga, meron kang highest degree of 2 or yung highest exponent na mag appear dun sa variable natin. Let's say this time yung x ay 2 which is this one. Tapos, meron kang mga coefficients na a, b, tsaka c. So yung a siya yung coefficient nung x squared, yung b siya yung coefficient nung x, tapos yung c siya yung constant. Tapos, laging naka-equate sa 0 yung quadratic equation. So, ito lagi yung magiging form niya. Note daw that the goal is to make the quadratic equation equated to 0. So, dapat daw, laging naka-equate sa 0. Kasi, ito yung gagawin nating form lagi para ma-factor natin, para ma-solve natin yung quadratic equation by factoring. Okay? Now, yung principle na gagamitin natin kapag mag-solve tayo ng quadratic equations by factoring is the principle of zero products. So, sabi, if a times b is equal to zero, then a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. Which is sensible, right? Kasi kung nag-multiply ka raw ng dalawang number, let's say, itong a tsaka b, tapos equal sila sa zero. So, automatic, para mag-zero yung product na yon either isa sa kanila ay zero. So, kaya, A is zero or B is equal to zero. Right? For example, one times zero is zero. Kasi any number multiplied by zero is zero. So, likewise, kung meron kang tatlong number, so let's say X, Y, Z equal zero. So, therefore, for this equation to be true, dapat either X is equal to zero or Y is equal to zero or z is equal to 0. Okay? Likewise, kung meron kang quantity na binomial dun sa factors. So, therefore, i-equate mo rin yung bawat quantity na yun sa 0. So, x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? So, ito yung gagamitin nating concept para masolve natin yung quadratic equations by factoring. So, if a factor out natin itong, so let's say, meron kang quadratic equations of this form, okay? And then, if a factor out mo such that meron siyang dalawang factors, then naka-equate siya sa 0, and then i-equate mo each factor of binomial to 0. Then, that will be the value for x that satisfies the equation. Anyway, itong principle of zero products, applicable siya, hindi lang sa quadratic equation. So, if the degree of the equations is higher than 2, let's say 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., pwede pa rin natin i-apply yung ganitong uh, principle, yung principle of zero products. It's just that the number, the highest degree na nag-appear doon sa equations, yun yun ang bilang ng solution na mahahanap natin doon sa equation. For example, dito sa quadratic equations, since na ang highest degree natin ay 2, therefore, meron din tayong dalawang possible solutions. Okay? Okay, let's solve some examples. So, solve the following quadratic equations. So, 1, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, this example is already in general form, right? So, therefore, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa factoring. So, i-factor natin tong x squared plus 4x plus 4. So, factoring that, we have x, x, so, plus 2, plus 2, right? equal 0. Okay, so apply natin yung principle of zero product. So, so equate natin each factor to 0. So, x plus 2 is equals to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. And then, solve natin for x itong dalawang equations na to. So, x is equal to transpose sa kabila, negative 2 or 
x is equal to at the rin, transpose natin sa kabila, negative 2. So therefore, the answer is x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to negative 2, which is the same lang. So parang solution nyo lang dyan ay x is equal to negative 2. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have 2x squared minus 11x is equal to 21. Okay, so mapapansin nyo, hindi pa siya naka-general form kasi hindi siya naka-equate sa 0. So, para maging general form siya, pwede na lang nating i-transpose itong 21 dito sa left side para 0 na lang yung right side. So, magiging 2x squared minus 11x magiging minus 21 equal na sa 0. Okay? So, therefore, general form na siya. Pwede na nating i-factor to. Okay? So, using trial and error, kung ano natutunan natin sa pagpa-factor, we have 2x times x, and then let's say 7 and 3, so minus plus, okay, equal 0. So, therefore, equate na natin each factor sa 0. So, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, and x minus 7 is equal to 0. Now, solve for x. So, we have... 2x transpose si 3 sa kabila, magiging negative 3. And divide both sides by 2. So, we have x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Or, this one, x minus 7 is equal to 0. So, transpose lang si 7 sa kabila, magiging positive 7. So, therefore, the solutions are x is equal to negative 3 over 2 or x is equal to 7. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have x times quantity x plus 7 is equal to 18. Okay, so wala pa siya sa general form. So, simplify pa natin yung equation. So, distribute natin itong x. So, we have x squared plus 7x. And then, itong 18, transpose natin dito sa left side. So, magiging minus 18 is equal to 0. So, therefore, general form na. Factor na natin itong left side. So, magiging x times x tapos 9, 2 then plus minus equal 0 so equate natin each factor sa 0 so x minus 2 is equal to 0 tsaka x plus 9 is equal to 0 and then solve for x okay so sa x minus 2 we have x is equal to transpose sa magiging positive 2 or x is equal to so, transpose si positive 9 sa kabila, magiging negative 9. So, therefore, the solution is x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 9. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have 4x squared equals 7x. Okay, so, transpose uli natin tong 7x sa kabila. So, magiging ano yan? 4x squared minus 7x is equal to 0. So, this example, napansin nyo, kulang siya ng term, which is yung constant term dito. So, anyway, kahit ganun, pwede pa rin natin tong i-factor. So, factor natin tong left side sa so, magiging common monomial factoring lang gagawin natin. So, ang common monomial factor nila ay sa constant, wala naman. So, yung x lang. So, yung lowest exponent ng x ay 1. So, factor out natin yung x. So, we have 4x minus 7 equals 0. And then, ganun pa rin, equate pa rin natin each factor to 0. So, x is equal to 0 and 4x minus 7 is equal to 0. So, therefore, ito, x na to is equal to 0. One solution na yan. Tapos, itong kabila, solve natin for x. So, 4x is equal to, transpose to 7 dito, magiging positive 7. And divide both sides by 4. So, we have x is equal to 7 over 4. So, therefore, the two solutions are x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 7 over 4. Okay? Okay, next example, we have 9x squared equals 64. So, transpose uli natin tong 64 sa kabila. So, magiging 9x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. So, napansin nyo, this time, mayroon naman tayong nawawalang x term. Okay? So, therefore, kahit ganun, pwede pa rin natin itong i-factor, di ba? So, using uh, the special factors, difference of 2 squares. So, we have 3x, 3x, and then 8, 8, isang plus, isang minus. So, equal siya sa 0 na. 
Tapos, equate uli natin each factor sa 0. So, 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. Then, 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. Then, solve for x. So, dito muna tayo. So, 3x is equal to transpose si 8 so negative 8 and divide both sides by 3. So, we have x is equal to negative 8 over 3. Or, this time ito naman. 3x is equal to transpose si 8 sa kabila magiging positive 8. Tapos, divide both sides by 3. So, we have x is equal to 8 over 3. So, therefore, the two solutions are x is equal to negative 8 over 3 or x is equal to positive 8 over 3. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have negative x squared plus 21 is equal to 4x. So, tansos uli natin itong 4x sa kabila sa magiging negative x squared minus 4x plus 21 is equal to 0. Now, notice na yung numerical coefficient ng x squared ay negative, particularly negative 1. So, kapag ganun, lagi kong ginagawang positive yung numerical coefficient ng x squared para mas madaling mag-factor. So, para magawa yun, multiply lang natin both sides of the equation by negative 1. Okay? So, itong negative 1, didistribute ko sa quadratic trinomial. So, magiging positive x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals sa 0. Okay? So, pwede na natin i-factor to kasi general form na siya. So, we have x times x and then 7 and 3. So, positive 7 minus 3 equals 0. Then, equate natin each factor sa 0. Okay? Now, solve natin yung bawat factor. So, dito, x is equal to transpose si 3 magiging positive 3. Or dito, x is equal to transpose is 7 sa magiging negative 7. So therefore, the solutions are x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 7. Okay? Next, we have 5x squared plus 16x plus 25 equals x squared minus 4x. Okay, so transpose natin itong right side dito sa left side. Itong dalawa sa so, magiging 5x squared plus 16x plus 25 minus x squared plus 4x is equal to 0. Now, combine natin similar terms dito. So, itong 5x squared saka negative x squared. So, meron tayong 4x squared. And then, itong 16x saka itong 4x. So, meron tayong 16x plus 4x or 20x. And then, itong constant na positive 25 equals 0. So, therefore, general form na siya. Factor na natin itong left side. So, we have 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Trial and error lang natin. So, let's say let's say 2x saka 2x and then 5 saka 5. Okay, so plus plus is equal to 0. So, equate natin each factor sa 0. So, 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, pareho lang naman sila, ba? So, ito muna yung 2x is equal to... So, transpose sa so magiging negative 5. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, we have x is equal to negative 5 over 2. And then, ito, pareho lang. So, 2x is equal to negative 5. Divide both sides by 2 x is equal to negative 5 over 2. So, therefore, the solutions are x is equal to negative 5 over 2 or same lang, x is equal to negative 5 over 2. Okay, so that's how to solve quadratic equations. So, basically, dapat ilagay nyo lang muna ito sa general form. Dapat naka-equate sila sa 0. And then, i-factor out nyo yung left side using yung factoring na natutunan natin. And then, equate nyo each factor to 0. Then, solve for x. So, that's it for this topic. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.